everybody. It's me, Hetty, and we're making you know what, because you just saw the title, right? These are so good. You got to try them. Uh, I'm going to actually get right to it. And look here, I'm, I'm trying this. I, I found this when I moved, and I've been thinking about trying it, and I, I had to wait and get a couple of cans of the butane gas stuff, whatever, that you put in here. But I'm going to do this, because since I'm cooking with gas again, uh, after all those years when I got my new stove, and you saw that video, but it's been about six months ago now, I guess, uh, I'm so happy with it, just like I knew I would be. So I said, I need to match. I'm used to gas again, so I've got to match my Hey Hetty cooking situation as well, because right now I don't have a rig that I can get over by my stove with the correct lighting and everything, but I'm working on that, so hopefully I can do that. All right, I have a little bit, about a teaspoon of just regular cooking oil in here, whatever you use, and I'm going to add to it about two tablespoons of just regular butter, unsalted. I always use unsalted. Whatever you've got, that's fine. Whatever you use, that's fine. Uh, the butter really adds to the flavor. So all oil, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what you're going to add into it if you want olive oil. Olive oil is not good for every single thing, okay? Uh, unfortunately, I see a lot of people just putting olive oil on everything. But being healthy, it's still oil. And I'm not saying it doesn't have good benefits as compared to others, but flavor-wise, butter's off the hook. So if you're trying to cook for a new husband or boyfriend or your girlfriend or your future mother-in-law or whoever, this is what you're going to want to use. Do it the way you want to do it. Again, I'm only sharing with y'all what I do. Now, I put that teaspoon of oil in there. Why? I tell y'all, all these people cooking with butter, your butter will burn. By the time you get everything added and everything, your butter can start to burn. So that using that little bit of, uh, if I'm making something, with a lot more, I put more oil, but for this, I put about a teaspoon, just to cut that butter and keep that burning point low. Now, this is just, I do not care for stems. I know a lot of times they go, oh, take the stems and chop them up and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Hetty doesn't like stems at all. Do not like them. Too woody. You can take the outside off and do that all you want to, and if you want to do that, that's fine. I don't. So I'm going to just saute this off. I will bring you back in just a minute. Let me get this started. and We'll go to the next step. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. As you can see, it's going quite well. And I'm going to go ahead and go over. Uh, as always, you know my recipes are underneath the video in the description. I do not make you click 20 million times to get the recipe. That is so aggravating. Although, I love seeing all the kids. Uh, uh, pictures of the kids with the chocolate smeared all over the face. I've said that before. But, man, I get tired of seeing about 30 pictures in the same blog of, uh, vlog of them, you know. They are cute, though. I'm not saying they're not. I'm not saying they're not. But it gets aggravating when I just want to just look at a recipe. Now, this is my recipe. I didn't go on a vlog and get this recipe. This is mine. Okay. Uh, not that I didn't get it somewhere originally, but I've been making it like this for well over 30 years. Well over 30 years. I'm an old lady. So, there you have it. I just know how to make it now. All right. We love garlic. So, yes, I roast my own garlic, and it is so tender. I just mash it. Look at this silicone spoon, even, and it mashes. So, it's wonderful. I use it for everything. You can adjust the garlic to your taste. Uh, it really does add quite a bit to it, and I'll try to, I, I know some of them are putting links to the videos, uh, like up in the, if you're looking at the video, it's top right corner, I think, so I'll try to remember to do that. If not, I'll put a link down below for sure, maybe inside the recipe even. All right, now look here. This is my garlic. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add my garlic in. We like garlic, and also, I wanted to mention uh, go buy the recipe below. I am doubling this, so just FYI, I'm doubling my recipe. All right, I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to get this incorporated. We'll go to the next step. Okay, next step. You know I'm in love with my food dehydrator now. These are beautiful green onions I did. Not the ones in the video. These are other ones I did, but uh, even if they were the ones from the video, which they're not, they would be excellent. These stay good for years. you got to really uh, 
get you a food dehydrator. I, I'm new to it, and I'm still having fun with mine. Okay, I've got about a tablespoon of my green onions I'm putting in here. And I have, for me, I've got one teaspoon of my Cajun seasoning. And yes, of course, I make my own Cajun seasoning, and it's off the hook. And you can tweak that heat like you want to. Okay, I'm just mixing these in well, as you can see. ABC. Man, I wish y'all could smell this. It is so good. Oh, man. All right. And now, let's mess you up. I missed you. Okay. Man, this smells good. I, I know I, I know. I just said that, but guess what? I'm going to say it again. All right. Now, I'm actually cutting the fire off. And a lot of people, oh, wait till the mixture cools. No, you don't need to wait till the mixture cools. My cream cheese is softened. And this actually just helps me get it incorporated better. Well, I guess I think I'm going to switch to this one because I got a little, it's a little hardier. All right. I just go around, I chop it up. The pan is still hot, but of course the heat's off now. So I just use that to help me get it going. And give me a second. I'm going to keep chopping this up and then I'll bring you back when I'm getting it mixed in. This is so easy. You got to try it. This is five-star restaurant eating right here. Okay. I'll bring you back. As you can see, I have uh, taken the cream cheese mixture out of the pan. It's so perfect. And I, I did sneak a little taste just for seasoning. You need to do the same. Tweak it if you want to or whatever. This is so perfect. And I hadn't even added the cheese in yet. Okay. I have three quarters. Remember, I'm doubling mine. Go by the recipe below, whatever, wherever it is. You know the drill. Underneath the description. So I have a quarter cup of freshly gra uh, grated mozzarella and I have three quarters cup of freshly grated parmesan a normal recipe would be half that like I said I'm doubling mine as you can see I got lots of mushrooms I have 300 sons and a husband so I double mine all right so hence that was why I used two cream cheeses as well so I'm just gonna give this a quick mix doesn't take much. All right. I didn't think it's worth stopping the video for that. Maybe I'll edit down on time. Okay. Next, get in there, cheese. Get in there with your friend. Okay, now for the obvious part, to stuff the mushrooms. I don't count mine. I just go and, uh, and see, he's a big one. And some of them are this small. And then you've got mediums. So I try, what I do is I'll try to keep, I'll put like two smalls together next to a medium or a large. And I'll tell you something else, put your smaller ones toward the middle and your larger ones around. And that way it gets them more evenly done. Okay, so obviously I just use a regular, uh, regular sugar spoon. Uh, and obviously, I'm, and you're not, I'm not going to suffer you to go through all this. Poof. Of course, I uh, sprayed cooking spray all over this uh, lasagna pan. Whatever casserole dish you use, it doesn't matter. I use different ones. And this is just the one I grabbed today. And just make sure he's down in there good. And I'll just come back and round off. And I'll go around like this. I will get this going. I'll bring you back when I'm doing the last couple of them. He's a sampler. <laughs> he's a little bitty baby one. On with it. Last one. It worked out almost perfect. So where is he going to go? I'll tell you where he's going to go. He's not all the way down flat. But he's all right. He's going to go right there. That's where he's going. This is just home supper for us anyway. And I just, it's usually not much left over. Look, you can tell I've made these a long time because... I kind of slowed down in the beginning about where I stuffed them, but I usually just come in if I find a little area like he did. He's not heaped up enough. I'll just go in and I'll find a spot where they didn't get quite as much as he didn't get quite as much either. And I just fill in. As you can see, it's yours. You are the creator. All right. I guarantee you, this is, and my hands are clean. Right before I started this video, I washed them a million times. 
All right, and I wiped them off with paper towel several times while I was doing this. All right, okay, wasn't that fun? Here they are, ready to go. Uh, 20 to 27 minutes, depending on the size. Here's big guys here, but most of mine were on the smaller side, which is the way I prefer them. So I'm thinking mine's gonna be about 25 minutes, but anyway, uh, just check, you know, take a skewer or whatever, or even take a fork. I mean, if you're just feeding your family, just take a fork. If it's soft, they're done. But the main reason to, way to tell is if there's a lot of liquid on the bottom, uh, it's releasing that liquid. That's another way to tell if it's done. They should be bubbling and smelling so good. All right, so when these are done, I'll bring you back. Look, look, look. It's probably hard to see on camera. It's still slightly bubbling around the edges. These couldn't have come out more perfect. As you can see, I was going to show you. Let me just kind of see this. It's liquidy on the bottom. I don't know. Can you see that moving? Anyway, these are perfect. You got to try this. I know I say that about everything, but man, this is really good. We are having roasted chicken tonight with these beautiful stuffed mushrooms and beautiful baby Brussels sprouts just steamed. So there you go, that's our supper. I'll show you a picture. Okay, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And please hit like and subscribe. Gotta get those likes up guys. And uh, I always uh, appreciate new subscribers, but I really appreciate the ones that have stuck with me. If you've been with me a long time, I sincerely just can't thank you enough. Uh, I love all of you guys. And uh, I've, I've, over the years, I, uh, I've explained this before, I started my channel for a different reason, and it ended up that I just love you guys. And I love sharing my recipes just like this with y'all. And I hope that you like them and take them and incorporate them into your family food repertoire. And I'm going to tell you what, if you wanted to wow somebody, this is a way to wow them. Okay? I will see you next time. Bye. I think I'm going to make something sweet for the next video. Hmm. What could it be? We'll find out.